good morning my friends and welcome to my morning routine. So most mornings I will wake up around 6am, I find that this is the time that works best for me, especially in the hot months, that way I can get outside and do my chores before the sun gets too high in the sky. I like to drink lots of water right when I wake up just to get that bed taste out of my mouth and because hydration is a good thing. And of course, I will pop over and turn on Eloise's light just so that she can know it's morning time. And first things first, I will always make my bed. It's my little morning ritual and I honestly wouldn't feel right starting the day without it. Then I will usually pick out my outfit for the day. I do actually get asked quite frequently whether I really wear dresses every day or if I just wear them for YouTube videos, but the honest answer is yes, I wear them every day. I find that they're much more comfortable than pretty much anything else in this heat and humidity and I just like how airy they are. And then I will head outside, as you can see the sun is just starting to rise over the ridge and I just love this view in the morning. I will first things first go let the chickens out. You can tell they were already raiding at their door because it was a bit late. They are very early risers, definitely the definition of the early bird gets the worm. And I do love our chickens. I think they are so funny and honestly just good companions for when you need a little giggle. I know that they're just birds, but I honestly find that each one has such a cute little personality and greeting them in the morning brings me such joy. head out into the garden. I have kind of a long list of little chores that I do in the garden each morning. This first thing you'll see me doing is actually detasseling our corn. It is that time of year and you have to keep a very careful watch on it or else you will miss detasseling season. And here I am using a black light to check for hornworms on our tomatoes. And of course I am always checking for squash bugs and their larvae on the zucchini. It is an endless battle. And here you can see me checking on our sunflowers. They are so big this year and I cannot wait to see them bloom. And lastly, I will give everything that isn't attached to our irrigation system a good water, which is mostly these flowers in the back and this far cold weather bed. Next, I will water all the plants on our porch, so we have a few ferns as well as this herb basin. And you'll also see me sweeping up the bird seed from the bird feeder because our birds are very messy. And lastly, I will water our daisies. Next we have what I like to call my creative routine, so I will grab whatever book I would like to read, my bullet journal and my writing journal, and I will start with my writing journal and I will usually write about a page. This typically takes me 5-10 to 10 minutes and I don't really write about anything in specific, I get asked that a lot, but I truly just write about whatever is on my brain at the moment. Once I finish that up, I will put that journal away and then I will move on to some reading. I don't have any specific goals for reading in my morning routine except to do 30 minutes of it. I find that that's usually a sweet spot and it's not asking too much, but it also ensures that I at least get a good chunk of reading in for the day. And in a second here, I will show you the blurb of the book if you're interested in reading it. It's very interesting so far. Lastly, I will do my bullet journal. This just involves updating my habit tracker and also checking off any to-dos and updating anything before the day ahead. Lastly, I will just water any of my indoor plants if they need it. now is usually when I will get ready. As you can see, I'm putting on SPF and Calvin decided to make a little appearance. He was feeling 
very needy that morning and I have a whole makeup routine on YouTube it's pretty simple but just a few basic things mascara blush and nothing fancy but I will link that video in the description if you want to go watch that and you're curious and then I will just fix my hair bring those things out front and throw on my jewelry for the day this jewelry box is antique from the 1920s and I just love it so much. It is one of my most treasured belongings. And now it's time for the last part of my morning routine, which is writing. If you didn't know, I am writing a novel this summer, or at least a manuscript, and I will work on that every morning for about an hour. I usually just scroll through what I've already read. I feel like it gives me a sense of accomplishment and also kind of catches me up on where I'm at in the plot. On a typical day, I'll write about a thousand words or 1,500 in an hour, so that was my starting word count. And of course, tea is very necessary for this process and I just type away. I also like to write in a notebook sometimes. I find that writing tangibly instead of just on a computer sometimes helps get my brain flowing in different ways. On this particular day, I was kind of at a crux point with the plot, so I really wanted to write down some of the major themes that are happening next just to wrap my head around them. And with a little bit more typing, I ended up making it about 1200 words through which I'm happy with for a day's writing and after that I will usually shut down and try to enjoy a little minute of peace and calm before the work day ahead all right my friends there is my normal morning routine I obviously don't have mornings like this every day and this was definitely an ideal morning but if every morning went perfectly this is how it would go. I've really been enjoying this routine this summer. I find that it keeps my creative brain really recharged. I think the parts that I like most of it are that I spend time in nature before I sit down to do anything on any electronics so I'm like starting the day with an hour or so of screen free time which I think it's just a really gentle way to get started in the day and I really like that. And I also really enjoy the reading and journaling that I do every morning before starting work. It somewhat feels like a bit of a creative recharge before getting into the day, which I really enjoy. And of course, the best part of this routine is definitely the fact that I have gotten into the habit of just writing an hour every morning. A couple of episodes ago in the I'm Writing a Book series, I made a video on how to build better habits and how to get into this daily routine of writing and I'm so glad that I did then because now it just comes very naturally and I write pretty much every day for an hour without much trouble and I do like doing it in the morning. I find that personally that's when my brain is at its best and that's just because I'm I think naturally a morning person my circadian rhythm seems to be at its best in the morning so this is definitely a routine that works super well for me and if you're curious since I wake up at about 6 in the mornings I usually go to bed between 10 and 11 obviously some nights it's later but that's what I aim for and yeah that is my morning routine if you made it this far in the video comment your favorite type of tea if you're a tea drinker and if you're a coffee drinker your favorite type of coffee drink so latte or cappuccino or whatever it is and I hope that you guys enjoyed thank you so much for being here if you did enjoy it and you haven't already liked and subscribed that would help very much and I will see you in another video soon bye friends